Hello, I'm Darren McGee. Today's topic is looking at EMDR, which stands for Eye Movement Desensitization Reprocessing. It's an approach that was developed in the late 1980s by Dr. Francine Shapiro for the treatment of post-traumatic stress disorder. It is an approach that helps people recover from emotional distress as a result of traumatic experiences. And further research suggests that EMDR can be effective for other mental health issues such as delusions, anxiety, self-esteem and depression. It works by helping people process the memories of traumatic events. As the events are processed, the intensity of the emotion attached to those events reduce as does the meaning attached to those memories at an emotional level. This involves both the client and the therapist determining which memory to focus on. And the client holds different aspects of the event in their mind as they track the therapist's hand or pen back and forth across their field of vision. As this happens, the biological mechanisms involved with rapid eye movement or REM sleep, they arise and the client begins to process the memory. And there are eight phases to this approach. Phase one is history taking. That's when the client and the therapist identify past events and current situations that cause distress for the EMDR processing. There is also a focus on skills and behaviors that are needed for future situations. Now, where there are multiple traumas, as is common with complex PTSD, now this may require a longer treatment time. But in phase two, the client and the therapist explore different ways to handle emotional distress. Phases three to six involve the EMDR technique where the client identifies a vivid visual image related to the memory and a negative belief about themselves and any emotions or physical sensations that come up. But the client also identifies a positive belief and the therapist helps them to rate this belief as well as the negative emotions. The client focuses on the image, the negative thought and the physical sensations while engaging in EMDR processing using sets of bilateral stimulation. The type and the length of these sets is different for each client, but at this point the client is asked to just notice what spontaneously happens. The client is asked to think about their preferred positive belief that was identified at the beginning of the session and then focus on that during the next set of distressing events. In phase seven, the therapist asks the client to keep a record during the week, to record anything that might arise and to help remind them of the calming activities that were discovered and discussed in phase two. Then phase eight involves both the client and the therapist reviewing progress that is made so far. So that's a brief outline of EMDR. Now it is an evidence-based treatment which has been shown to be very effective with PTSD, flashbacks, painful memories and so on. And the research shows it can bring about symptom reduction quicker. It can be a standalone therapy or integrated into other therapeutic models. And also, it doesn't require the client to go into the same amount of detail as other kinds of talking therapies. So that's a very brief outline of EMDR. If you find this video interesting, please consider subscribing to my channel and until next time, thanks for watching.